Hello everybody and welcome and welcome Lakshadur here to proper first this episode of Half-Life 1, classic, very well liked and known uh, series. I believe this might be Barney or maybe not. The time is 8.47 Basically this is the place where it all began. This the massive clusterfuck with G-Man, Invasion, with Combine and all that jazz. Yeah, visitors, I believe, were back there. At a pleasant 68 degrees Interesting. Anyway, so as you can see, this place looks absolutely massive. And of course, I don't have exact timer. From level three so, yeah, episodes will vary in length. Not exactly, not by chapter, but simply wherever I feel like to stop, begin or stop my record session recording. In area nine, and board a high security train. If you have not yet submitted your identity to the retinal clearance system, you must report to Black Mesa. Ah, yeah, Rocket. I remember this might be useful later in the campaign. But basically, look at the size of this space. I believe they spent decades building the entire Black Mesa compass. And I know this is a game they do not care about that figures like that. But I kind of found myself after all these years of gaming to like look for some different things. Not only like take the most obvious things as taken. Uh, no, sorry, my English fucked up here. But just look for the other things in the game. Like try to like, get your own. Not, not perception, but uh, conclu conclusions, think what might happen, what might happen, like how this world works. I mean, you can see by this black Apache that Black Mesa had some military presence, or maybe just self-defense one. Or maybe that was a prototype for the army, who knows. And the, yeah, the entire complex in New Mexico was absolutely massive, it's like, still, like, if you played a portal, you also know that the Aperture Science also had absolutely gargantuan uh, complexes. But I do not believe we have seen G-Man on our way here. I might be mistaken, but you know. Okay, it's... It's a good thing to see that even after all these years, you can see exactly why this game is well liked. And it was classic and it changing, changed the entire genre of first person shooters. I believe it was... Um, yeah, I really don't have wiki open and I didn't uh, make uh, the... more lives than your own may depend. I didn't um, like made shit because there is attacking over and I'm getting distracted. I didn't make a proper research before playing, I just simply think remember that this game was released 1999, I believe. This is automatic. This thing might work. But really, like, depending on how much how much this complex was built, how long, the g man might really have a lot to say in it. He might have been even on the board, like as an enigma, or maybe enigmatic director, because the guy had interest in making Resonance Cascade happen. Missing a scheduled urinalysis or radiation check. Move away, you fucker. Yep, here's the G-Man. And with the scientists, so... If you feel so. you have been exposed to radioactive or other hazardous materials in the course of your duties, contact your radiation yep. safety officer immediately. Yep. Incidents happen, Work and this is not looking Work nice. Smart. And of course the Work robots need to take on. care of it. And I believe we are getting close now to the... Arriving at Sector C test labs. Control facilities. Test labs, yep. The place where it all began and all went to hell.
Please stand back from the automated door and wait for the security officer to verify your identity. Before exiting the train, be sure to check your area for personal belongings. And yeah, this is this is the Thank game you. where and Gordon Freeland wasn't known, so day. yeah, he was just a simple guy from MIT. Morning, Mr. Freeman. Looks like you're running late. I wonder if this is Balham? No. Halcom? I don't remember how the party was named in Blue Shift. Yeah, how's it going, man? Rough shift? Living in the undergla underground place like that? Yeah, mind letting me in? this size of the security. I don't remember if the if the year of Half-Life 1 game is like 2000 or 2010 or maybe 2000s because yeah the this definitely alternate reality because in our life we don't have technology to make a teleportation uh, things. Hey Mr. Freeman I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Just one of those days. I yeah, system crash. Yep. Some problems down in the test chamber too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazard suit. Yep. These things all like all in preparation this for the resonance cool. cascade. The regiment really made a lot of preparations. No. Where did I? Make sure that. Hi. Good morning, Gordon. No, this is not the place. I believe. Yep, he's making his work to do a bloody. Greetings. To have a bloody well. Mm -hmm. Well job. I mean, no, this is the place or not? Greetings. Oh wait, I'm getting kind of distracted. Should I go here or? Are you sure you check the eigen attenuator? Yep, this is the place that we cannot go. Oh, you got the wrong airlock, Mr. Freeman. You know I can't let you through here. Ah, yeah. So okay. So we have an answer for that. We shouldn't be go here. But we saw G-Man. The scumbing bastard preparing to do whatever he wanted to do. Ah, Kitchen you. area. Yeah, good to see you too, man. Oh yeah, this is my stuff here. Someone has hidden my glass. Why do we all have to wear these? No wait, I need to. Beard world. Daily Johnson. Okay, yeah. Oh look, I remember that. Bone. I wonder if I should run that test again. Okay, I believe we are good to go to like. Go right on through, sir. Looks like you're in the barrel today. Yep. Being unwitting, like the entire Black Mesa complex was an unwitting pound to fucking G-Man. But well, they shouldn't. Like, it also makes me wonder who in the first place encouraged the encouraged the experiments with teleportation and all that stuff. Because it has to begin begin from some point, from some. Point. Oh yeah, Dr. Johnson, like, he maybe didn't show up, so that's another thing. Maybe he was taken out by Jimin. Also, one thing that I don't like in Half-Life 1, there is no captions, and I sometimes don't hear the text. Yeah, I see that already. 
Really look at this, how many guys are in this place, that how many people died. Hey, catch me later, I'll buy you a beer. Oh yeah, we will go through this place once more. Hello there. Ah, Gordon, here you are. We just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. Bit of a gamble, but we need the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather they went to some lengths to get it. They're waiting for Administrator? You, yeah, the, the fucker from City 17. Bleen. But I don't know if you meet him in person in this game. Also, I don't know if this is Kleiner. I don't remember meeting El Vance, or maybe I'm just like... Yep, this is the place where it all begins. The horror. Ah, it's about to go critical. What the hell is going on with our equipment? It wasn't meant to do this in the first place. It probably wasn't. But yeah, that's... Yeah, even if you played this game for the first time on its premiere, if you know how to look, where to look, you already know that something's big is going on. And sorry, my mouse is getting funky. And battery doesn't seem to work. Greetings! Yeah, also, so just you know, I believe we will try to play Blue Shift. Oh, maybe. I will need to check like if Opposing Fronts was first or Blue Shift, so we will go like Opposing Fronts, Blue Shift. I'm we'll be deviating a bit from standard analysis procedures today, Gordon. Yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And, potentially, the most unstable. Now, now, if you follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I don't know how you can say that, although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. We've assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Ah, uh, yes. Maybe administrator right. wanted Gordon, something to go wrong? Or maybe he was just played by well, G-Man? Go ahead. Let's let him in now. Yeah, this is the place that many people, not feared by it, but knew. Testing? Testing? <coughs> Everything seems to be in order. No. All right, Gordon. You're Nothing is in order. Comfortable through all this. The specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments. If you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotors, we can bring the anti-mass spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives. Yeah, this is like... This is also the place that that you know this alternative universe. Not only that this is a we'll game, but they have had technology to do something like that. Also, the thing is, yeah, all these crashes and problems with the system was to cover the sample change. So I don't, I don't see a gym, but I believe he. But I believe he might be watching somewhere. And that he changed the sample to put something that will create resonance cascade. It's probably not a problem, probably, but I'm showing a small discrepancy. Well, no, it's well within the acceptable bounds again. And that attitude goes that And 
ada di booster atas. And the entire place goes to hell. Well, shit. Hello? Ones were well, fuck. Unforeseen consequences. Sure, they are unforeseen, motherfucker. <laughs> 